Recently, I bought a couple of uh, Titan lithium-ion 7,000 milliamp batteries to, uh, to try out and see if I could get a little more flight time than I usually do. And I tested them out in my Evil Twin plane, which I've uh, been flying for about a month and a half now. Here's the uh, manual that comes with these Titan lithium-ion batteries. And uh, it shows the recommended charge at 3.2 amps. Here's the recommended discharge rate uh, at about 20 amps cruise and 70 amp max, which uh, I was well below the cruise recommendation. Um, and the real advantage to these batteries is that you can operate them theoretically down to 2.5 volts per cell. So here's a comparison uh, side by side. Uh, two takeoffs uh, with one of these batteries on the left and two of these batteries in parallel on the right. Uh, this is the point of greatest amp draw on both on takeoff here and you can see the voltage sag on the left down to 10.2 and with two batteries it's uh, still around 10.7, 10.8 or so. And uh, while climbing out you can actually see uh, that I've reduced the voltage that I'm using, or the amps rather that I'm using, and uh, the voltage starts coming back up, especially on the uh, two batteries in parallel set up, which, uh, which has me almost, uh, as you can see here, right there, about one volt higher um, than with uh, just a single battery, so that's a significant advantage. Here's the uh, long and crazy route I flew with two lithium-ion batteries, that's 14,000 milliamps. I was able to fly for nearly 25 miles and had my greatest uh, distance away from myself, uh, 4.3 miles as well. Here's a summary of that flight showing uh, nearly 25 miles in the upper left, uh, 45 minutes or so in the lower right, and the bottom center shows 22,671 feet which is a tiny bit less than 4.3 miles. And in that time, uh, the red line here shows about how much of each cell I used, down to about 3.4 volts. Uh, so I could theoretically have gone about another 800 to 1,000 milliamps per cell. So this is me reaching my maximum distance from myself I've ever flown my personal best here, so I'm pretty pretty happy with this. Um, I hit return to home at just about four miles and right about here or so is my greatest distance ever to fly a plane from myself as I'm turning around on return to home. Um, also things get a little bit sketchy here uh, because I've flipped my um, antennas around I suddenly start losing video and you can see RSSI in the far upper left that's my signal strength from my flying radio in just a minute it's gonna to go to zero here right there and thank goodness for the L9R defaulting to uh, maintain the throttle exactly where it was and also thank goodness to the Storm OSD for continuing to fly me in um, PA mode which is heading hold and uh, horizontal hold I had another bit of trouble right here um, at about 25 minutes of flying when my voltage dropped to 10.3 volts and I had totally forgotten that my Storm OSD was set to return to home right about here because of that low voltage. Um, if this were the voltage on a lithium-ion battery it would be kind of um, in emergency status but with these lithium-ion batteries um, you know, you're only halfway through using the battery, or maybe even a little less than halfway. So this meant that the uh, last 15 minutes or so of my flight, uh, maybe 20 minutes of the flight, was flown manually and or in return to home mode because it wouldn't do PA uh, mode for me. So this is about 38 minutes into the flight, and you can see in the upper left I've got uh, 21 miles 
of uh, total flight distance at this point. And my nerves are a little shaky because I, st I still do kind of believe it might just fall into the lake at any moment. So landing was interesting. Um, the batteries didn't have much punch anymore. And uh, my first attempt at landing here uh, did not go very well. So I went around, as you'll see here in a second. And this angle of landing it was easier in terms of seeing the plane, not looking directly into the sun, but it was fast because I had the wind with me, so I'm landing at nearly 30 miles per hour, which is why I rolled into the grass right there. Anyway, thanks for watching.